the 15 minutes and there's a couple of other things. The free account's fine. I don't need the pro one. Sorry, Screencast Nomadic, you're awesome, but I'm not paying. Um, I'm bored. Okay, this one, you have to, you've got Janine, who scored 82 in her physics and 78 in her chemistry. Um, you have the standard deviations and you have the means for both of them. Now, question A, it says write both as a standardized score. What's a standardized score? Give you a hint, we've just been doing it. Yeah, it's a Z score. Okay. They'll call it, sometimes they'll call it a standardized score. Yeah. Okay, write the formula for each subject. All right. Now, I like you to write down what you know. They haven't said to, um, and in this case, I'm just going to highlight uh, the ones I need because I'm just feeling that little bit lazier. Now, you'll also notice that in the question, the first one they've said S equals 10. And the second one, they've gone delta n. I keep saying delta. I wonder if it is delta. I think it's delta. What's the other one? It's not sigma. It could be sigma. I always get confused with my Greek letters, which is horrible to say because I really should know. I know pi. I like pi. Pause and double check your stupidity player. All right, so just so people know that I'm not a complete idiot. In some of the questions, it's been using delta. In some of the questions, it's been using the lowercase sigma. And it's hard because it changes depending on the font. So sometimes I'm saying delta when they're talking about um, standard deviation. Sometimes it's sigma. So I look a bit stupid at the moment, but that's all right. That's how I dress. Um, now I can't remember where I'm going to go. There. Okay. So in this particular case, they're using sigma n and then S. But I swear, in some of the other questions, I've used um, delta. Yeah, because my delta looks like a 5, apparently. I'm not very good at writing delta. I'm really good at writing beta. So I don't know why they don't let me keep doing that. Ah, uh, B with a flick. Yeah, but I do the uppercase beta. I don't do the lowercase. Um, whereas other people do the other one. Yeah, see, I do... Oh, no, that is the lowercase. Wow. I'm not very good at this. Maybe I should go and learn Greek. Hey, take a nap, yeah. Mu, love mu. Omega, yeah, Omega's cool. I like Omicron. Omicron's cool. Well, everyone likes pi. I mean, how could you not like pi? I must admit, the main, I rarely use sigma, I normally use sigma for sum. You use the capital sigma for sum um, when you're doing um, sequences and series and stuff. So, iota. I don't give an iota. Anyway, back to this. We've wasted some time. Anyway, we know we're asking for standard deviations. Yeah? Okay. So, we've got S equals 10 and we've got uh, sigma N equals 10, uh, equals 5. They're both standard deviations. Cool? Okay. So, you should have then... Uh, substitute it in. So we've got Z equals uh, 82 minus 62 over 10. So that's 20 over 10, which is 2. Then we have uh, 78 minus 66 over 5. So what would you get for that? That's 12. 12 over 5 is 2.4. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, this second one. Which is the better result? Explain your answer. Chemistry. Chemistry is the better result? It has a higher Z score, which means it is higher further above the mean. All happy with that? You need to write that. With that, you, which is the better result? Chemistry, then you have to say why. Higher Z score. 
you're using the Z scores to decide it's better. So you probably should mention that in your answer. All good?